<laughs> hey, all right, everybody. How is it going? Now then, what's the story today then? Well, <laughs> um, there's a couple of stories been doing, going, doing the rounds. Um, the main one I want to talk about is tyres, and the other one is the Jaguar that couldn't stop uh, the electric eyepiece. Um, but I want to just focus in on this tyre malarkey, okay? <laughs> because it was an old story and then it came back and it's come back in a vengeance because there does seem to be some sort of dark dark forces involved of trying to uh, really dig down deep on EVs and say they're a load of rubbish um but let's let's sort of let's sort of have a look at the article now the daily fail is the main offender here right because if i just i'll open it up and have a quick look on the old tablet okay and um if i get rid of the cookies oh bloody cookies i don't want any cookies um so the, the mail online the headline which was the 4th of march which was three days ago so the 4th of march three days ago it said electric cars release more toxic emissions than petrol powered vehicles and are worse for the environment what <laughs> now this is where it all gets a bit funny right well, not funny um what's the word i can use misleading this is where it all gets misleading okay now any sort of stop moving your hat man right any sort of article right that you get in the news uh it's misleading because they always pick the biggest numbers okay they don't pick average numbers or small numbers they just pick big numbers uh if you can hear something in the background it's my dog barking and uh my daughter's boyfriend messing about i said i'm filming but they didn't get the memo <laughs> right okay so where was i right so so in these articles they'll pick the biggest number they can find if they look through a whole article they'll 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 find the biggest number and then they'll use the word could or can or might okay so get that in your head now that these numbers I, I check out here are not the real numbers they're the worst case scenario um so what we got here it says evs right it says evs weigh 30 percent more than petrol cars causing tires to wear out faster now i looked at that 30 percent number and I, I wanted to say, what a load of old <laughs> Right? Um, <laughs> because the 30% is, they've picked that a certain thing, okay? Now, I'll give you an example. Uh, the Ford Fiesta Puma, no, the, let's just, uh, sorry. The Ford Fiesta, they've stopped making the Ford Fiesta, so they only make the Ford Puma. And I think the top of the range heaviest Puma is something like 1,000, 390 kilograms okay and the Renault Zoe is 1510 kilograms similar sort of size cars okay and the Zoe is about eight if my maths is right it's just a little bit above eight percent heavier than the Ford Puma so the 30 percent is a load of old ghoulies right big dangly ghoulies <laughs> because like, like I said, they use the biggest number they can find. Now, if I look down further, right, uh, it said the study which was published in 2022. See, they've dragged it back. They've dragged it back. It's been it was two years ago, and they've dragged it back out. It was, it was in the cupboard gathering dust and cobwebs, but they've brushed it off, and they've brought it back out, okay? Alice says it found that brakes and tyres release 1,850 times more particulate matter compared to modern exhaust pipes, which have filters reduce emissions. So what they're saying is, now that's not specific to EVs, they're just saying that um, uh, tyre emissions are quite a lot compared to exhaust emissions because exhaust emissions have come down. Now, we all know there's a little bit of cheating going on with exhaust emissions and they're not quite, the average guy driving his car, or let's, let's what, let's say a, a youngster tearing away in his car. Um, the emissions are not quite the same, are they? As what they do in the in the you know 
they, 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 not the labs, they go out and drive them. They, they take their time, they're nice and gentle. Um, so they're not always quite the same. But anyway, I'm sort of digressing a bit by early. And it goes back to saying that they found that EVs are 30% heavier, right? On average. I don't, I don't believe it. Another example, right? Um, look at the, go and look at the, don't take my word for it, go and look at the BMW M3 and compare the weight of that to the uh, Tesla Model 3. And I think some of the uh, um, BMW uh, 3, 3 series is, some of them are heavier than the Tesla Model 3. So, bleh, right? <laughs> so, um, now I'm not trying to say that tyre wear isn't... Um, an issue it probably is it, it tire bits of rubber and stuff flying around everywhere in the air it's going into the water system isn't it it, it all gets washed down into the drains that water goes into the river I, I don't know where it goes in the end but there we are so it's um it goes on blah 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 basically to slag off electric cars but it does say when the article let me go back to the top here da, 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 found it, blah, blah. i think it said something about oh i think they've changed it I think they've changed this article because it did mention it did mention brakes because I I think I, I think now I know I'm waffling a bit by you but I think I, I, I could be a conspiracy theorist by you <laughs> right but there might be something coming in um, for brake brake dust and tyre way there, there might be something coming in for heavier vehicles will be sort of have some sort of punishment. I feel like that might be coming. I'm not too sure, but um, I could be. Look, I'm turning with conspiracy theorists now. <laughs> but uh, it could be coming. It could be coming to a cinema in the EU. So um, I think that might. It could happen. It could sort of. They could say because uh, they've got vehicles much cleaner. They could now say, right, well, the tyres and the <laughs> the brakes, they make it a terrible mess everywhere, which they, they do. It is true. Um, so let's let's sort of let's let's do taxations on that or, or maybe something, something. It, it might be. It might not be a lot. It might be less. Obviously, if it's an electric car, the brakes hardly do anything at all because I watched a James and Kate's video and they use MG fives. To, to do all this servicing uh, they go different places do service in electric cars and he took the wheels off after a hundred thousand miles and the brake pads were almost like new after a hundred thousand miles that's mental that's absolutely mental now i looked at the daily mail article and i thought Ugh, right because you do it when you look at the daily mail it makes you do that noise it makes you go Ugh, right like that <laughs> and i thought i'm gonna have a look at a more you know, let's have a look at this article. Now, this is from the RAC. And this article uh, was done by Dr. Ewan McTurk. Now, clever guy. And he sort of said, he sort of said what I was just saying earlier about uh, don't take much notice of the numbers because the numbers are exaggerated. They're always the worst case scenario. And uh, I got cookies on you as well, though. Uh, and I think in his article, he stated that uh, he talked to somebody who, who done taxis, and they said the diesel taxi and a Nissan Leaf. They said the Nissan Leaf tyres, front tyres, uh, did need changing a few thousand miles before the diesel taxi ones. But he said the rear tyres on the Nissan Leaf were exactly the same as the rear tyres on the diesel cars. He said they, they lasted exactly the same amount of time. Who would have thought, eh? So, <laughs> really, they, they do these tests. Why don't they ask people who drive EVs if their tyres wear down incredibly fast? Because I've asked, I think I've asked this question before, and a lot of people have said that they haven't found their EV tyres to be wearing particularly fast. Now, it's all down to driving style. I know that. If you're a, you know, you've got a heavy right foot, <laughs> and you like to whip off, and if you've got a Tesla and you like to do, you know, the the sprints, not the sixty all the time, then your tires are going to wear down pretty quick. If you go going around the corners, you know, acting like a youngster, 
a tear away, then your tyres are going to go. If you plod along, a bit like me, <laughs> then your tyres are going to last longer. So, uh, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention as well. And I, I, I did happen to watch one of Not Jeff's videos because he mentioned the tyres and he actually said something which made sense. Now and again, he, th he says things that make sense. <laughs> um, and he said, um, they've gone on about tyre wear, but really the council should be fixing the roads first because they're full of potholes and all this, that and the other. And that's going to increase tyre wear. The smoother the road, I'll say that again, the smoother the road, the less wear on the tyre. I think that's feasible, isn't it? I think that's feasible. If you want a rough road, that's going to damage the tyre more, isn't it? It's going to be squeezing and contracting and all sorts of things. So, I'm not a, I'm not a tyre scientist. I'm just saying what I think. Like I said, just my opinion. Uh, but the, tire, the, the roads are terrible. So, if they did introduce a tyre tax or a, <laughs> or, a, or a brake tax, what about trying to avoid potholes all the time, breaking and turning and going in the pothole, out the pothole. Anyway, I sound like a conspiracy theorist, stop it. Now, I'll briefly talk about the Jaguar thing, the Jaguar uh, that wouldn't stop the I-Pace. Uh, it got stopped by the police. That, I think that was in the Daily Mail as well, in the article. They, and he said he was doing 90 miles an hour, he couldn't stop. And, but the police stopped him in the end. And when you look at the photos, um, there's no damage to the, you can't see any damage hardly at all to the front of the AP, so the, the police must have done a nice gentle stop, because um, it looks like it'd probably be for a few scrapes or whatever. But the anti-EV clan have jumped on that again. They've jumped on that, um, talking about the Jaguar AP and they wouldn't stop. And they're like, oh, see, they're dangerous. They're terrible. Oh my God, they're the worst things ever. They've all jumped on it and what I'd like to say on that matter is that if you've got a manual car and a clutch and a normal arm brake, then fair enough, that's, you know, it probably is a bit safe. It's, you, there's more things you can do to stop the car. You can put in lower gears, you can pull the arm brake up. There's more things you can do. But a lot of modern cars now have automatic gearboxes. That automatic gearbox, the lever isn't connected by a rod to the gearbox. It's connected to the uh, a gearbox module. And the gearbox module sends messages to the gearbox and the gearbox has got um i can't remember the names of the things now solenoid things they open and close and they tell the gearbox what to do via a computer right then you've got a, a fly-by-wire accelerator and you've got a keyless entry in cars um so that can happen in them types of cars as well. It's not it's not just down to electric. It could happen if if the modules all go funny. Uh, it could happen in another car. Now, what I what I did find weird about the Jaguar A-Pace, not stopping, is that years ago, you used to have a sort of split system where if one side went, you could still sort of stop on the other side. But the way they were speaking is if it was no brakes at all. Now, I did watch a video, I don't know if this is relevant or not, and I don't know if I'm waffling. I am waffling. <laughs> uh, I watched a video where uh, somebody was trying to fix a Vauxhall Corsa E, not an electric one. I mean, like, they, they numbered uh, Corsa B, Corsa C, Corsa D, Corsa E. Sort of the U, the U type U model. Um, and the passenger side front brake wasn't working at all. Nothing at all on the on passenger front brake. And the guy went and looked at the, the caliper and it was fine. It wasn't uh, seized or nothing, nothing wrong with the caliper at all. And it turned out to be the actual ABS block and that was stopping that brake from working. So I, I don't know if more modern cars, they got this ABS block, if that can stop all the brakes working. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should look it up. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to say that the Jaguar thing, the anti-EV clan, they've jumped on it, they've said, oh my god, electric cars are terrible, but them same sort of systems are in expensive modern diesel cars and petrol cars. So up yours, anti-EV clan. <laughs> anyway, that's my waffle for today.
If you like this video, go on, subscribe, uh, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo-hoo!